Good evening. 13 News at 5 begins with breaking news tonight in the Delphi murder investigation. Hundreds of new court documents just released in the last three hours state new details about the murders of Abby Williams and Libby German, including two mentions of weapons. And that's just one of the many new details our team of reporters are discovering tonight about the murders more than five years ago. 13 News was the first to tell you about the release of these documents this afternoon. We're going to have live team coverage for you over the next 90 minutes as we continue to look for new information about the case. And we start our coverage tonight by going to Rich Nye. He joins us live in the newsroom tonight and he has a look at what we now know about the investigation that these documents were unsealed. Rich and Marie and Felicia, Richard Allen's attorneys want the judge to throw out the evidence that was seized at his house during a search last October. The court documents argue that the search warrant was valid and warranted, and those are the ones that are giving us the most new information about how Libby German and Abby Williams died and why Allen is charged with their February 2017 murders. Investigators say Allen is the man in the video taken by Libby's phone who ordered the girls down the hill. And in that same video, investigators believe they hear the sound of a gun being cycled and one of the girls mentioning a gun. Court records say the girls were then forced to the location where they were murdered. And for the first time, we learned that investigators believe a knife was used in the murders. Court records say articles of clothing from the girls were missing from the scene, including a pair of underwear and a sock. Clothes from both girls were found down the creek and four other girls also saw the man on the bridge that day and described him as kind of creepy and he seemed to be in a grumpy mood and a woman says she later saw the man in the bridge video walking down the road wearing a blue jacket and jeans. He was muddy and bloody, she said, and looked like he had been in a fight. Police searched Allen's home last October. They seized a handgun which investigators believe Allen used in the crime and matches an unspent bullet found next to the girls' bodies. About 10 hunting and utility knives were also confiscated along with a blue Carhartt jacket and other clothes. Investigators also took carpet samples and swabs from the seat belts in Allen's Ford Focus vehicle that they believe was seen on the trail that day. And Allen admitted in two different interviews that he was on the bridge that day. He says he went out on the bridge to watch the fish.